Agriculture is important to Papua New Guinea, accounting for 21% of GDP and 17% of total exports. Production is predominantly carried out by smallholders working customary land using subsistence methods. Family needs are still largely met by the household's production on its own land, so they're not compelled to rely on regular sales to obtain daily necessities. Supply chains generally operate with spot market forms of governance, characterised by short-term, opportunistic, sometimes exploitative and even violent behaviours. There are few incentives for smallholders to improve consistency of supply or quality to markets outside their local area. This perpetuates poverty and disempowerment of smallholders, and if they aspire to change their situation, the cost of accessing education and health drives significant internal migration to major urban centres. In particular, this has caused social and environmental problems in the peri-urban areas around the capital, Port Moresby. The PNG Fresh Produce Development Agency conducted the only major study of fresh vegetable supply to Port Moresby and estimated there's a shortfall in production that could be as high as 80,000 tonnes per annum. The recent resources boom has exacerbated this shortfall and imports increasingly substitute for local production, reducing the benefit of the boom to PNG. Central Province has the potential to meet much of Port Moresby's demand, however finding sustainable models of agri-food production compatible with the complex socio-economic and infrastructure constraints on commercial scale production will be necessary if this is to occur. This project aimed to develop efficient and effective value chains in Central Province that are based on sound use of natural resources to meet growing demand for fresh vegetables in Port Moresby. The fundamental reason that we're working with smallholder farmers in Papua New Guinea is that as their own food retailing system develops, multinational companies that are moving into the country uh, because it's a less competitive marketplace start to look for direct supply from large suppliers who can, who can reduce their supply risk, give them price stability and quality and safety stability um, and all of these things uh, are aspects which smallholder farmers can't supply and can't guarantee. The retailing system passes them by and they get excluded from the modern retailing system and locked into poverty. This project had a number of objectives. To establish two examples of sustainable vegetable value chains in Central Province that would enhance profitability at all stages in the chain and improve household income security for those participating. To identify, evaluate and implement resource management and agronomic practices that would increase yield and improve quality and reliability of vegetables delivered by farmers to the chain. To develop and extend agronomic and resource management practices for small and large scale vegetable production. To identify areas within Central Province with land resources and climate suited to vegetable production and provide a mechanism to extend the project outcomes to them. To do this, a value chain analysis was conducted to identify the project participants, the high return crops to develop and the focal chains. To analyse the selected existing supply chains and develop a best practice value chain model on which to build the new chains to prioritise the high impact biophysical research necessary to develop improved varieties, yields and quality for the new markets. The rapid value chain analysis identified that the priority agronomic problems were the use of inappropriate cool temperate vegetable varieties, poor soil fertility management, lack of irrigation and finally poor pest and disease control. The analysis identified that the Rigo Koyari, Sogeri Plateau and Tapini Station in Goilala District were the best sites for both research and extension to local smallholders. Rigo and Goilala are the poorest of the five districts in Central Province and among the poorest in PNG. The uh, Central Province Government was interested uh, in understanding the marketing problems for some of its isolated areas uh, and so they uh, requested that we conduct trials and try and establish a chain to uh, Tapini Station, which is in the Goilala district. This brought unique research challenges. 
However, the project was able to conduct the first detailed soil surveys of the district and conduct successful vegetable variety trials and social research. The aim of agricultural research in, in PNG was to assist locals in the production of vegetables and that ranged from the low altitude sea level all the way through to sort of mid to high altitude ranges and so we were looking at growing a range of different vegetables and they were growing at different altitudes according to uh, the likelihood of success. Our job was to I guess look at the range of soil types that are there and uh, assess their capability for a range of different types of uh, food crop production. Part of our job too was also to find those trial sites and suggest where they might be run. There's terrible issues getting fertiliser and uh, irrigation and resources to field crops and to do it well, uh, to produce good, good crops that are marketable, you need to make sure that the management goes up and the productivity goes up and the returns can come up. The next limiting factor becomes irrigation and cartage of water and so the rollout of that uh, of the drip irrigation system was seen as a major coup for the project. So we've obviously identified particular vegetable species mm. that may be suited to the different altitudes, so the yeah. low, medium and, and high altitude. Then within each of those zones we had different growing systems and the idea there was to replicate what might be a standard growing system and compare that with a moderate input and a really high intensive input that we may have here, you know, here in Tasmania. Uh, and the idea there is to look at all the costs of the inputs, what's required, but also the quality and the, and the quantity of the product actually uh, that is produced and grown. The value chain analysis identified a number of marketing weaknesses, including consistent production and supply, lack of economies of scale and supply, individual marketing instead of marketing in groups, inconsistent quality with a major lack of understanding of post-harvest handling requirements contributing to poor quality, lack of use of dedicated vegetable freight services, rather using public motor vehicles which significantly degrades quality, lack of information regarding price, quality and volume requirements, and lack of marketing coordination which is exploited by traders. The soil researchers used vegetation penetrating satellite radar to identify the best slopes and soils in central province for vegetable growing. So we sent a couple of excellent um, GIS trainers up from uh, UTAS and from, from Hobart to run a, a one week course, training course for those that were uh, particularly interested in building their skills and that went very very well and had a lot of uh, great feedback from that and developed a user group and um, have been feeding them extra information since that course. The in-country biophysical research was conducted in conjunction with the National Agricultural Research Institute and the Fresh Produce Development Agency. A series of field experiments and GIS studies were conducted over a period of three years in Central Province. The social research component used participatory methods and appreciative inquiry to identify the changes necessary to establish the new chains. These methods take a solution-oriented approach, uh, working with rather than on traditional cultures. Hence, they don't appear as judgmental uh, or as confrontational and so are quite different from the more usually uh, used uh, problem-centred approaches. The social research team trained its in-country partners in research methods, conducted awareness training in value chain management with the district agricultural officers and community leaders. They identified high value vegetables that could be grown in central province. And they identified two new markets available, one the largest supermarket, the other one of the largest public markets. Also conducted awareness training uh, at uh, in value chain management with both Rigo and Tapini farmers, separately for the men and boys as well as for the women and girls. Uh, and it identified the farmers production and marketing problems and the skills training needs that they had to overcome some of those problems. Um, it also developed an annual plan uh, collaboratively with them as to what they wanted to do and uh, delivered a number of uh, high priority training courses in uh, both communities.
between the visits of Australian researchers uh, to, uh, to Papua New Guinea, um, our partners FPDA and NARI uh, provided advisory support for implementation. A number of achievements came out of the project. There were significant enhancements to the PNG, GIS, agronomic and value chain development capability. New, more suitable vegetable varieties and production methods were recommended. Field days and training workshops for farmers in agricultural and business skills were conducted throughout the project. Priority training needs for men and women smallholders were identified and training in business and agriculture was conducted throughout the project. Following the training needs analysis workshop, a group of young Kerakadi women collaborated on a crop production and marketing project by combining three large gardens. The fact that out of the workshop, nine of them collaborated and shared their gardens and appointed an auntie who was going to cook and look after their children and actually sold their uh, produce at market and made a lot of money. That to me was a, such a, an achievement of theirs, but, but it had been stimulated by the workshop. But there are always things that slip and slide. I think we made a big, quite a big difference in some of the women that um, we've worked with so far in the project. Mm -hmm. yes. um, there's, there's changes in the farming practices now. There's changes in the um, livelihoods. New value chains were established to the Shop and Stop supermarket and the Pacific Adventist University market by several communities. The uh, Stop and Shop uh, chief buyer told us that uh, as a result of, uh, of his uh, involvement uh, as well uh, and uh, the training that we gave them that the uh, uh, wastage uh, of produce being supplied uh, dropped from about 50% down to 5 to 10% which is a significant uh, uh, issue in Papua New Guinea and so this was a, a quite a major achievement. And the critical constraints on regional development were successfully identified and reported to government. For me, even getting to Tapini and talking to the community there and conducting those uh, training needs workshops and, uh, and follow on training, I would consider that as a great success. That's, that's very significant. Due to some pre-existing factors within the communities, as well as problems that emerge during their new collaborations, the marketing chains to stop and shop declined sharply in early 2014. The project was unable to establish a coordinated market chain out of Tapini due to social unrest lack of support from government offices and the state of road maintenance. From the social and value chain research point of view, the major learning has been how the dynamic social relationships and traditional social practices in Central Province can interfere with the sustainability of project outcomes. So there's not many downsides for me. I really enjoy working with the people I have. And certainly the women from NARI and FBDA, um, that close relationship, that reliance on their local knowledge was very important. Good governance is essential in a district for development and this can only occur if government offices are permanently stationed in the district. Registered landowner cooperatives are essential as the basis for coordinated marketing. Governance training to ensure cooperatives are properly managed should be a priority in market development projects. And improved roads are essential to access markets and other basic infrastructure. Both our sites uh, suffered significantly with uh, appalling road systems that uh, could not sustain uh, regular uh, 
freight services of vegetables to Port Moresby, uh, particularly during the, uh, the wet season. When you go into a community, because you don't necessarily understand the gendered relations, you don't understand the dynamics within the family or the tradition, then to keep alert, do no harm, just slows you down enough that you're not rushing in with solutions that may not have a good cultural fit.